All right, all right, all right. We are here with the uh, with Hulk. Um, just a few things I wanted to show you. Some upgrades before we bash. Firstly, that's apparently called the Sun. So I'm in a spot where I've run the vaults before because it's got a nice soft grass bank, and we have some non-heavy, heavy rain and ice weather. As you can see from the wheel, it's still about minus one or two degrees here, so not ideal, but this is Scotland in uh, near the Cairngorm Mountain, so it is what it is. Uh, it's still running the 40, uh, 4070 TP motor, but I've uh, adapted the armor cooling fan to fit this motor, um, so hopefully that will keep the motor cool. I have got a temp gun with me and I have got a GPS with me. The plan is to do some flat GPS runs on the grass um, and check out how it runs with these fifth scale wheels and tyres. One thing I wanted to show you is uh, the guys who haven't been used to owning large RCs or fifth scales, this is basically an adapted dog lead. You clip it onto the front of your fifth scale and you can drag it from the car to your bash spot um, without doing your backing. So uh, I'll plug everything in and we'll get going. Right, we are on adjusting the head cam. GPS is set to peak speed. I'm still running the original servo, but I have found that a high-tech servo fits this and I am slowly falling in love with this car. I'm hoping that these wheels and tire combo will be better and I've got some cool upgrades coming, but for now, let's see what this TP, TP motor can pull out the bag. GPS is on and set to peak speed and of course this is a this is a cost country run so this is on grass and it's bumpy I didn't realize it was this bumpy here and it's icy icy and wet it's going to be really tough on the plastics today I really hope not to break anything today but uh, Get a great range out of this fly sky. I'm running my ludicrous lipos again. I like these lipos. I have no issues with these at all. Let's just see what we're getting speed wise and then we'll start doing a, a, a little bit of jumping. So she's going 41 miles an hour. Uh, that's a 22, 22 tooth pinion. But man, there is some grunt to this motor. 1800 kV, uh, 41 miles an hour ain't bad. It's not super, super quick. I think my volts is probably quicker, but the volts doesn't do that quite as <laughs> smoothly. You gotta give it to armor. Big Creighton, little Creighton, you know, jumping is what these things do well. So I'm, I'm going to take it a little bit easy and just see. How she behaves. And also I haven't been out bashing in ages. I know everybody, I am a builder and I do have a passion for building RC cars. I'm not going to lie to you guys. However, the weather up here in Scotland has simply put been absolutely diabolical. I mean, it's just been awful. So uh, the thing is, what's the choice? You get out and, and just break a ton of parts on all your RCs, one after the other. Or do you, do you just wait for some good weather? Also, it's Christmas and New Year and I want to spend some time with the family. So, uh, flies pretty good. I'm trying to figure out what kind of a bank it likes. But I guess a bank's a bank. A little bit of a lip up there. It's a pretty cool beast. I'm getting 
this is pretty good performance out of these wheels and tires guys these are low c5t wheels and tires <laughs> Lozy 5T wheels and tyres, speed locks with the uh, Mad Max big gripper wheels and some alloy bead locks around the edge. I want to just see if I can get in here and take a motor temperature reading. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Ain't doing much. Good. Last time I took it out, it's difficult when your hands are cold with ice and you feel a motor, sometimes it feels like it's on fire. Oh, that was my first cartwheel. Um, so that's what happened last time. So I was worried about motor temperature heat, but I needn't have worried. That's more like it. Oh, you've got to give it, it's, it's big and it's heavy. And to get it up in the air, you have to give this bad boy some beans. But correcting in the air is really nice. I've got it on 50% brake, but I'm running a Max 5 ESC. And... Uh, that's working out for me. I'm getting good air control with these tires as well. They're giving me some, they're giving me some good uh, control in the air. I must admit, I'm reasonably pleased. For a big car, it doesn't half handle well. I tell you, I, I wasn't. So Super convinced when they bought this out. Those of you who know me, I was instantly on YouTube saying, I hope that they haven't simply just done, literally just done a big Creighton, i.e. no interesting design with the chassis, the whole chassis and chassis brace concept, which... I'm still reasonably nervous of. <laughs> um, there's a ton of flex in it. There is a ton of flex in it as it comes stock. Even with normal bashing, I think you're going to bend the chassis. However, Armour are, Armour are amazing at bringing out cars that, that people can people can support so m2c guys this thing i'm beginning to enjoy this quite significantly it's just a great car i'm running 500k in the center diff at the moment i'm not having i'm not seeing it bleed out at, any huge amounts of of power or too much power forward I'm pretty pleased I don't know how long these lipos are going to last these ludicrous lipos are obviously 2.4s 8000 milliamp per hours They seem to be running pretty good. Oh, and that's a big tumble. Gordon Bennett. I don't know how many tumbles you counted there, but uh, it was a fair few. Big cartwheels, horrible cartwheels. The ground is frozen. The ground is frozen solid here, so we've got a layer of ice and rain. 
water on top and then permafrost underneath which which makes for super challenging grip conditions but as you can see these wheels and tires are finding it all right and that's some of the biggest jumps that I've ever done with an RC car that was a big big old front bumper hit but luckily it's pretty moist just there because that was a significant divot I'm really enjoying this guys I gave this RC a ton of grief when it came out I just was a little underwhelmed I knew that the chassis and the braces was going to be an issue oh man <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry Hulk. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, this thing's trying to kill me. I knew that the chassis and the chassis braces were going to be an issue. I knew they were going to bend. But now that we've got M2C and others on the case, oh that's my GPS. I'll go and get that later. Now that we've got M2C and others on the case, just bash it, I'm sure we'll join in the fun. I don't feel, I don't feel so bad. You know me and my love for hop-ups. I'm really enjoying this, guys. I really am. I've forgotten about the fact that my fingers are frozen to the bone. This thing is simply running beautifully. I think I'm probably just going to run it hard like this and check some te temps afterward on the ESC. And the motor. That's a massive jump. That's got to be 20 foot. Uh, listen, massive for me, sorry. Let's, let's get it right. That's a massive jump for me. For Rich Duper Bash, RC Dude 81, Kevin Talbot, not so big. <laughs> but for me, as a builder who likes to have the occasional bash, They're pretty big jumps, that's flat out. I'm really impressed with the Lyco time. I, I, I really am, and I'm so impressed, I was worried. I don't seem to have much as much brake as I would appreciate. Um, I don't know why that is. Ah, oh, because it's LVC. That is LVC. I've driven it without killing it. I am super stoked with that guy. I am super happy with this beast. The Hulk has worked well. Let's uh, let's do something interesting for you guys and just take this off and I'll let you know what the temps are doing with that TP, TP motor that I've got in there. I've had good and bad TP motors to be honest, but generally 89 degrees. So that is pretty warm to be honest. 74 at the front. 91 it's 100 degrees C at the back and for those of you in Fahrenheit Fahrenheit 181 181 I don't know if that's 137 at the front 
186 at the back. Let's put it back to something that I can recognize. 85, 65. I think 84, 85 degrees is, uh, is, is really quite hot. Uh, ESC, I should imagine is 7.9 degrees. ESC is 18 degrees. The big Max 5 ESC is doing nothing. Lipos, Lipos have done well. They're at 40 degrees. 33 degrees, I mean, they're all right. They're not, uh, they're not cooking too much on gas, but the, uh, the cat pack, 15 degrees on the cat pack. <laughs> so, so yeah, motor is, motor is working hard to be honest and I need to work out why that is maybe that center diff isn't uh, isn't uh, it's too light maybe it is bleeding too much power to the front that can really superheat a motor um, that's why I was losing some braking as well as a LVC um, because the motor was getting so hot so we'll let it cool down but generally speaking that was a success peace